So here he is, folks, the former UFC lightweight champion, Rafael Dos Anjos, plus skills and finishing instincts in all areas of mixed martial arts, debuted in the UFC in 2008, and seven years later, realized a dream when he defeated Anthony Pettis over 25 dominant minutes to become the undisputed UFC lightweight champion. This guy has devastating power to his kicking technique. Whether it's to the legs, the body, or the head, if one of those lands, you've got real problems. All right, so here is this defensively gifted fighter and certainly has some offense as well, but more often than not, that offense is set up by his sound defense. He uses movement beautifully, uses his defense to create offensive angles. This guy can stick and move with the best of the man. And even when you think you have him in a bad position, more often than not, swivels that head off of the center line and counters you right in the jaw. So an outstanding defensive striker, very good counterattacks, and a very interesting matchup in front of him tonight. This guy has ridiculously powerful kicks. Is the one thing his opponent needs to absolutely avoid if he hopes to achieve victory in this fight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Dos Anjos is one year the elder. The reach is identical. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you all Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! A round in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler, with a professional record of 28 wins. 11 losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Rafael Dos Anjos! And now, to defeat his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Paul, the Irish Dragon, You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. This, this is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go. <laughs> Opens up with a front kick. Punches ball. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. RDA gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Missed that shot. Oh, he found the target there, Joe. Nice punch. Front kick to the body by Felt. He landed that punch flush. Good is that jab by Dos Anjos. Slips the punch. That shot blocked by Rafael Dos Anjos. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. 
Nets again, the experience. Oh, nice strike landed there by Dos Anjos. Sweet axe kick. Try to establish that jab. These guys are swinging. Irish Dragon gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. Tagged him. Solid inside leg kick there for Dos Anjos. Left hand is there for Dos Anjos. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Knees right here. He's got to get those knees to the body. He lands one. Felder stuffs it out. Back to over under control. Felder's got the double underhooks here on the clinch now, Joe. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh, is that a massive knee to the head? Could be in trouble here. Dos Santos gets caught with that punch. Oh, what a leg kick. Just out of range with that right hand. Nice kick. Oh, there's that tie clinch again. Dos Anjos has got that over under here in the clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. He's controlling his arms. Now he's got the second hook in. Effective strike there by Felder. Show three. Oh, oh big knee. knee. He is in trouble. Show signs of swelling. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Tries to move to side control, but cannot. Look at this reversal. Full mount. He's posturing up here. Hip escape, gets out of the full mount. Oh, hammer fist here by Dos Anjos. Final minute. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. And mount again, full mount. Felder gets caught by the elbow. Good punch. 30 seconds to go in the round. Now the hammer fist here by Dos Anjos. 20 seconds to go in round one. 15 seconds. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Rafael Dos Anjos. Throwing that jab, no good. Round right. two straight ahead. Stop, stop, stop. No problem. Help recover, relax, take it off. Forget that last round. This round, you'll... And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Brittany Palmer is in the building. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, round two. He's definitely going to want to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round.
He's got a beautiful leg kick. Strong outside leg kick. Oh, head kick! How about that shin? Doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. He moves to the Muay Thai clinch. Foot stop. Tying him up here in the clinch. Dos Anjos has got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. One underhook. The battle for hooks continues. He's got double underhooks now. One overhook, one underhook. Felder's got the double underhooks here in the clinch now. Oh, nice change up on the tempo there as the hook in the clinch lands by Rafael Dos Anjos. One underhook here. That knee might have landed there. Oh, that left hand is oh! funny tonight. Oh! This could be it. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Transitions to full guard. He's got a half guard here. Attacking with the arm bar. It looks like he's got the arm bar locked up. Throw the leg over the face. And he got out. Wow, that was a deep one. In full guard. with the jab. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Just misses with the straight right. Good straight right. Hook attempt now blocked, though, by Rafael Dos Anjos. Caught him with a punch. Oh! Dos Anjos gets the takedown now following that nice combination on the feet. He is as well-rounded as any fighter on this roster. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off of your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom by Felder. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Well, he's playing with fire here. Is that oh, one again? He got tagged. He's got hurt here. Oh, he's oh. tagged with the legs. He tagged him. Misses a huge hook to the head. Oh, straight right. Hurt him with that uppercut. Uppercut. Nice leg kick. Good exchanges from both fighters. 30 seconds to go in round two. Oh! He's hurt here. Big body shot. shot. Body. Look at this, take down. Ten seconds to go. Postures into place. Well, he's been on his back here, but he's actually doing some pretty effective work. Joe lands oh, a strike wow. there from the bottom. Nicely done there by Felder. <laughs> and here we see some really technical offense with submissions. Let's see it one more time. Olha, você deu o mundo esse cara. Ele nem quer mais lutar. Essa é a hora de você chegar para o fim. 
e acabar com a raça dele. Ele já jogou a toalha. Ariane Celeste in the building. Third round underway. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, yeah. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. That knee might have landed there. He transitions to the tie clinch. Good takedown defense, very nicely done. We show you the total oh, strike. He's trying to hang on. He tagged him again. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Nasty leg kick lands. Nice head kick. Oh! What a leg kick. All right, so another strike to the body there. And Joe, we've seen in the later stages of this fight, not only an uptick in the aggression, but also in the body work. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Right hand upstairs. And he doesn't get it. Effective punch there by Felder. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. It appears a cut has opened up on his cheek. Yeah, he's got nice snaps to that leg kick. Very nice. Oh, oh, he oh! He hurt him with that punch from the clinch. He lands a huge elbow to the head. Good job of avoiding the clinch. He just missed with that huge kick. Good inside leg kick. Oh, tag Combination him. landed by Felder. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Flipped him with the jab. Once again, he avoids the clinch. Look at Saint with that punch. Two minutes to go. for the Kimura. He's got his arm pinned down. It looks like the Kimura is locked in and tight for him. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Getting tighter. That's it. And there it is! It was a beautiful job setting up that submission, and once he got it, the fight was over. Yeah, that is high-level stuff out of him there, Joe, to finish the submission. It's one thing to get the dominant position. It's another thing to close the show, and he certainly did that here tonight. That's a big one. And here's the end. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory.
So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement as he could have made here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 47 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by submission due to a Kimura, Rafael Dos Anjos. Well, it's been a career full of shining moments for the former UFC lightweight champion, Rafael Dos Anjos. He produces another one here tonight. And now I think you can start to talk about RDA as a potential two-division champion. Starting to do some of his best work since moving up to 170 pounds. This is a dangerous out for anyone in this welterweight division, and he certainly proved as much here.